Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here back today with another video and today I've got another Black Ops 2 class for you. This is going to be a kind of rushing stealth class and this is going to work really well. It worked really well for me when I played Black Ops 2 so I wanted to share with you guys and you guys really seem to like the first video I did of this. If you did miss that, make sure to go and check it out, that will be on my channel page and to make sure you don't miss any future videos, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, let's get into this class. So the primary weapon is going to be the Vector K10. The, the Vector's come back and it's making its first appearance since Modern Warfare 2. Got a little bit of gameplay right here, just showing you how the Vector looks in this year's game. Again, I'm going to be running with three primary attachments, and I do think that primary attachments are going to be you know, really valuable in this year's game. You, you don't have to use the primary gunfighter wildcard, but I'm going to have the attachment suppressor, laser sight, and adjustable stock. And these are going to be three really powerful attachments. The suppressor is going to keep you off the radar. That's the whole point of this being a stealthy class. The laser sight is going to act like steady aim from previous games, where it's going to give you a tighter bullet spread when firing from the hip, make you more accurate when firing from the hip, and finally again we've got the adjustable stock, it's going to act like stalker from the previous games, it's going to make the victor an absolute beast, but to really make this class work you need to get close to the enemy, and to get close to the enemy in this year's game is going to be tough, but I'm actually running ghost which is going to help you do that. Now ghost is actually not as powerful as it has been as in previous years, to stay off the radar you have to keep moving, so that's why it ties into be a rushing stealth class. I've actually added to this even further by using Lightweight. Now I've had to use the Perk 1 Greed wildcard for this, but I think using Lightweight is going to be a big advantage, going to let you get close to the enemies quickly, get in their spawn and hopefully stay there and just keep racking up the kills and not let the enemy know where you are. I didn't actually go for a Perk 2 and then for Perk 3 I went for Dead Silence, because if you're going to be close to the enemies you need to be staying silent and you want to keep as stealthy as possible. The lethal grenade I've gone with and the final point in this pick 10 system is going to be the combat axe. I think the combat axe is good, it's going to get you really kind of stealthy kills. One improvement that they've actually made to the combat axe this year is the fact that you don't actually have to kind of press the action button, the square or X button depending on which console you're on to actually pick up the combat axe. If you actually walk over it, you're just going to pick it up. So that's it for the class and now for the score streaks. I'm running here with the UAV stealth chopper and orbital VSAT. The UAV, I think, you know, it's always a big favourite of mine. The stealth chopper is going to, you know, just get a few kills while you're still running about getting and kills with your gun and finally the orbital vsat my favorite kill streak in the game pretty much the same as the blackbird from black ops and you all know how beastly that was so i think the orbital vsat is gonna be a very very popular kill streak in this year's game so anyway, guys that's the second class i'm doing in this little series make sure you do head over to my channel page and check any videos you might have missed if you're still here and you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like guys it really helps me out check out a couple of my previous videos got those on screen right now and i'll catch you guys with another video very soon